This video focuses on an example of inscribed quadrilaterals whose given are algebraic expressions. Before we proceed, uh, example one and two are available in the inscribed quadrilaterals part one video. Okay, so in this example number three, quadrilateral mile or quadrilateral M I L E is inscribed in the circle B. Find the unknown measures, number one, value of X, number two, measure of angle L, three, measure of angle M, four, measure of angle I, five, measure of angle E, six, measure of arc, ELI, seven, measure of arc, MIL, eight, measure of arc, IME, nine, measure of arc, LEM, and ten, measure of angle, LEM. Let's solve number one, solve for x. I will be showing you two solutions in solving for x. The first one is by applying the corollary, the opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. Angle E or angle MEL or LEM is opposite to angle MIL or LIM or angle E or angle I rather. They are opposite then they are supplementary. Their sum is equivalent to 180 degrees. Substituting the value of the given angle E measures 2x minus 5, angle I measures 3x, get the sum which is equal to 180. By combining like terms, 2x plus 3x is 5x minus 5 equals 180 degrees. Then, 5x equals 180 plus 5 is 5x equals 185. Divide both sides by 5. Therefore, the value of x is 37. For solution 2 in solving for x, we will be applying the angle sum property of quadrilaterals, which is the sum of angle measures of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. The angles of the inscribed quadrilateral mile is angle M, angle I, angle L, and angle E. Therefore, we're going to get the sum of all the measures of the four angles, inscribed angles of the inscribed quadrilateral mile. We have the measure of angle M plus the measure of angle I plus the measure of angle L, plus the measure of angle E equals 360 degrees. Substituting the measures, the given measures of the four inscribed angles. However, M here or angle M's measure is not indicated, but angle M and angle L are opposite angles. In an inscribed quadrilateral, according to the theorem, opposite angles are supplementary. Therefore, if the measure of angle L is 3x plus 2 subtracted from 180, that's the angle measure of angle M. 
substituting in our solution, the measure of angle M is 180 minus 3x plus 2. Then for angle I, it's plus 3x. Angle L measures 3x plus 2. And angle E is 2x minus 5. The sum is 360. Simplifying the equation by combining like terms, but first simplify the sign of 180 minus 3x plus 2. It is 180 minus 3x minus 2 by distributive property. Then copy the other part of the equation. Then you can now uh, combine like terms starting with negative 3x and plus 3x is 0 and then negative 2 plus 2 is 0 180 plus or minus rather 5 is 175 plus 3x plus 2x is 5x then by applying the additive inverse we have 5x equals 360 minus 175, 360 minus 175 is 185 degrees divided by, dividing both sides by 5 to get the value of x that is equal to 37. Uh, we know already that the computed value of x is 37. We can now solve for the next unknown measure which is angle 2 and or number 2 rather which is the measure of angle L and for number 3 the measure of angle M angle L measures 3x plus 2 substituting the value of computed or the computed value of x which is 37 that is 3 times 37 plus 2 is 113. So that's the angle measure of angle L. Next, number 3, angle M. Angle M is the opposite of angle L. And opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. Therefore, their sum is 180. Now, from here, the measure of angle M equals 180 minus the computed value of the angle measure, rather, of angle L is one, oh, it's 113. Therefore, 180 minus 113, the measure of angle M is 67 degrees. Next to solve is number 4, the measure of angle I. Mm. The degree measure of angle I is 3x. We know already the value of x which is 37. By applying substitution, we have angle I or the measure of angle I equals 3x then 3 times 37 therefore the measure of angle I is 111 degrees now for number 5 what is the measure of angle E the measure of angle E is 2x minus 5 by substituting the value of x Therefore, it's 2 times 37 minus 5. The measure of angle E is 69 degrees. Let's go to number 6. Find the measure of arc ELI. Mm. By putting all the computed values, 
from our previous solutions, we can easily um, find the following unknown measures, such as number six. Arc ELI is the intercepted arc of angle M or angle EMI or IME. By applying the theorem, which states that the degree measure of an inscribed angle is equal to one half the degree measure of its intercepted arc, therefore, the measure of angle M is the measure of arc ELI divided by 2. Multiplying both sides of the equations by 2, therefore we have the measure of arc ELI equals 2 times the measure of angle M. Substituting the value of the measure of angle M, that is 67, therefore the measure of arc ELI is 134 degrees. Next to solve is number 7, the measure of arc MIL. Okay. Arc MIL or arc LIM is the intercepted arc of angle E or angle MEL or LEM. We will be applying the same theorem which states that the degree measure of the inscribed angle is equal to one half the degree measure of its intercepted arc. Therefore, the measure of angle E equals the measure of angle MIL divided by 2. Divide both sides by or multiply both sides by 2. Therefore, the measure of arc MIL equals twice the measure of angle E. By substituting the value of the measure of angle E, is, which is 69, therefore, the measure of arc MIL is 138 degrees. For number 8, we will be using the same process. We will be using the theorem about the degree measure of an inscribed angle related to its intercepted arc. So find the measure of an arc IME. There you go. The inscribed angle that intercepts arc IME is angle L or I, angle ILE or ELI. Then the measure of angle L equals the measure of arc IME divided by 2. Then multiplying both sides by 2. Therefore, the measure of arc IME equals twice the measure of angle L. Substitute the value of the measure of angle L, which is 113. Then the measure of arc IME is... 226 degrees. Next is number 9. Find the measure of arc LEM or LEM. Same theorem will be applied. Arc LEM is the intercepted arc of Inscribe angle MIL or LIM or angle E or angle I rather. Therefore, it's M or the measure of angle I equals the measure of arc LEM divided by 2. Multiplying both sides by 2, therefore the measure of arc LEM equals 2 times the measure of angle I. 
substituting the value of the measure of angle I, which is 111 times 2. Therefore, the measure of our LEM is 222 degrees. We are in the last item to be solved, which is number 10. Find the measure of angle LEM. Angle LEM, LEM is also known as angle MEL and it is also known as angle E. Angle E from our previous solutions is equivalent to 69 degrees. We are referring to the same angles, angle M and angle E. Therefore, they are congruent. If angle E is 69, therefore, angle M is equal to 69 degrees. Okay, so that's it. I hope you've learned something from this. More videos related to circles are available in this channel. Bye!